Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Welcome back. We're about to start in just a minute. My God, I got a pimple on my nose. And it's making me suffer. It hurts a lot. I don't understand that. You you become 40, you know, and you still get pimples. That that doesn't make sense to me. Is it because of what you eat? What do you think? You are getting younger again. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Look, I have a big nose actually, because of and it's inside, which is uh, the worst. That's really bad. Okay, so what's in it today? Today we're gonna talk about restaurants. I was thinking about <laughs> dressing like a, a waiter, you know, so we can have this conversation. It's gonna be fun. Okay, who remembers yesterday, yesterday topic? Fanboys. Fanboys, good job. Hey, but you didn't do your homework. Only one of you replied with so. Alex, Alex replied. That was the only one missing. And who did the exercise? I sent you a an exercise. It was raining. We're going to check these answers in a minute, okay? Just a minute. Let me just close this. Okay, it is 8.03 and we are 12. So I'm going to do the attendance right now so we can get rid of that task. Alex Enoch Ramirez Salazar. Uh, here, teacher. Thank you. Por favor, enciéndanme su cámara solo un minuto. Recuerden, solo para este momento es muy crítico tener la cámara encendida. Saber que no es hermano gemelo el que está recibiendo la clase, ¿ok? Teacher, Ana... en, breve, en breve me conecto, solo estoy ahorita casi por salir del trabajo para llegar aquí. Ok, Alex, ok. I got it. I comprendo, thank you. Ana Raquel Campos Ayala. Present. Amor, ahorita voy a salir de la Ana Victoria Galán Cantón. Present, teacher. Thank you. Brandon Alexis Velázquez Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you. Denise Alejandra Zúñiga Aldana. Present. Thank you. Freddy Ricardo Landaverde. Jorge Alberto Laínez Díaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Eduardo Reyes. Present. Where are you, Luis Eduardo? I cannot see you. Present. Oh, there you are, Eduardo Reyes. Okay. If possible, can you please turn on your camera just for a minute? Just for a few seconds. Okay. Bien. Let's continue. So, Maria Jose Escobar Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Maritza Celina Aguilar Ramos. 
Maritza is not here yet. Miguel Santos Barroquín Maravilla. Present teacher. Welcome. Morelia Giselle Perdomo Pineda. I'm in my way home. Okay. I understand Morelia está de camino a su casa. Okay. Comprendo. Gracias por conectarse a tiempo. Nancy Carolina Saldaña Membreño. Present teacher. Thank you, Nancy. Oscar Eduardo Meléndez Martínez. Present. Thank you, Oscar. Roberto Ernesto Colindres Morales. No. Okay. And Roxana Geraldina Wandique Ortiz. Present teacher. Thank you. Bien, no es regaño y a la vez sí. Eh, me decían por ahí que algunos um, en el reporte de Zoom sale que no se han conectado completamente las dos horas y pues eh, nos están llamando la atención por eso. Es muy importante que, que se conecten, les decía yo el primer día y lo he estado enfatizando porque Zoom graba cada minuto. Entonces yo aquí veo, eh, claro, no voy a informarles precisamente de esto, pero por ejemplo, alguien se conectó 83 minutos, 87, 99, 63, 0 minutos. Entonces, cada minuto queda grabado. Y ese reporte es el que se tiene que estar mirando a diario a, a Insaforp para que tenga continuidad de esto. Eh, se han vuelto más estrictos. Recuerden que hay, hay ciertos um, cambios que se están dando dentro de la organización y pues con lógica, ¿no? Lo primero que van a hacer es auditar, a ver qué tan buenos son los programas um, y todo lo demás, ¿no? Entonces, ánimo, eh, estas son becas. Ustedes dirán, pero yo, yo siempre he pagado por esto, ¿verdad? me descuentan en la planilla, pero hay muchas personas que ni siquiera tienen trabajo y desearían tener este beneficio que, en definitiva, es bueno. Ok, so, let's continue. Ok, ok, uh... My God, sorry guys, I'm dying. This pimple is gonna be my ruin. So we we talked about fanboys yesterday. We did some exercises, short exercises. We have talked about um, comparatives so far. Okay, and the main topic of this. Um, intermediate one level is restaurant. Right now we're talking about restaurants and okay. so yesterday we saw some examples. I actually sent you some examples as well, an exercise that you were supposed to complete. Let me open my classroom screen so we can practice a little bit. Teacher, hey. este, voy a ser de oyente porque ahorita voy a ir a tomar el bus. Entonces, okay, por Raquel. el ruido. Ajá. I understand. Thank you. Sí. Muchas gracias, Raquel. Okay. So, let's see. Let's start talking about the exercise I sent you on WhatsApp. I haven't resolved it. I haven't uh, given a solution to it yet. So, but still I need your help. Let's see. So the first sentence was, it was raining, comma, then we need the fanboy. Then we still had fun, fun. We still had fun. So what connector do I need to use here? Yet. Yet, we still had fun. Okay. Any other? Any other connector? But, Can, maybe. But, yeah, contrasting, right? Contrasting. I, I will say... That's like the most accurate, the first one 
that will come to your mind, right? But because it's contrasting uh, an opposite idea, yet as well, okay? It was raining, but we still had fun. It was raining yet. We, oh, whoa, whoa, no. <laughs> Redundancy. I cannot say yet and still try. There are some examples with yet and still, but I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. It was raining, but we still had fun. Because still, what's the meaning of still? Todavía. Hmm? Todavía. 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 Yes. And what's the meaning of yet? Aún. Aún, right? It's the same aún, thing. Sí. So you couldn't say aún, aún, right? <laughs> okay, so but we still had fun. But we still had fun. It was raining, but we still had fun. Okay, I could not go into the store. It was closed. Four. Four. I it... could not go into the store for. For it, it was, was closed. 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 Uh-huh. Good job. Okay. Give me the next one. She was. Uh huh? But, but she continues to study. For me, it's but. But? Yes. Yeah. Yet, yet, yes, both. I can say, pero she continued to study, or aun así, she continued to study. She continued to study. Okay, good job. Can you dictate the next one to me, please? Number four, someone. Sure. Uh, Tina didn't want to exercise. Uh -huh. And did she want to study? So, did she want to study? Hmm. Okay. For me, it's no. So Tina didn't want to exercise, nor did she want to study. What do you think, guys? Is this right? Yes, no. Yeah, I will agree with that. Okay. Okay, who reads number five? The children saw lions and tears at the zoo. Oh, and tigers? So the connector is end. Okay. The children saw lions and tigers at the zoo. Do we all agree? Yeah, right. Okay, yes. very good. Good job. Thank you. Someone else, number six. Acuérdense que ya les voy a enviar esto a Zoom. No más lo terminemos, yo se los envío. Ah, perdón, a WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Next, next, number six. Um... Number six, teacher. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow it's midnight be close and it's midnight be sunny. Ah. It's an. Mm. I think it's or. Or. Okay, tomorrow it might be cloudy or cloudy. 
it uh, might be sunny. Or it might be sunny. So again, tomorrow, tomorrow. it might be. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, it might be cloudy or tomorrow. it might be sunny. Go. Tomorrow, it might be cloudy or it might be sunny. You got it. Good job. Okay, number seven. George. It was cold outside so Sopran, we started inside. I was close mm -hmm. outside. Okay, George. Inside. inside. We saw the first day. It. Oh, so you think that the 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 connector is so? Okay. The wind. Yeah, like that. Correct. 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 Thank you. Okay, it was cold outside, so we stayed inside. It was cold outside, so we stayed inside. We're gonna talk about. Uh, the three pronunciations of simple past tonight. We're going to review that. And the last one, number eight, who can help me? Oh my God, I'm getting worse. Come on, guys. Yes, number eight. Uh-huh. They, they visit the museum and went to a restaurant afterwards. Good. Good job. Okay. I, I will say that's right. Do we all agree? Yes? Okay. Oh, my God. My nose. I'm sorry, guys. I think I'm going to teach you this way because my nose is killing me. Okay. E the endings. There are three sounds that you should have learned you should have learned by now for ed endings do you uh, understand that term ed endings ed endings simple past regular verbs okay what do we do with regular verbs like play oh sorry play Work, save, what else? Fix, okay. Want. Want, thank you. I was looking on my brain for another one. Okay, so add rule number one, sound is t -t again. Okay, that's the sound. So, super rápido, si los verbos en su forma base no tienen vibración en tu aparato, es decir, en la boca, la garganta, las fosas nasales, tus cachetes o los labios, no hay vibración. Entonces, agregas ED y suena, ese ED suena como T. -t. Ejemplo de estos podrían ser MIS, ok, mis esto lo puedes hacer poniéndote las manos en la garganta mis no hay vibración entonces agrego la ed ok y digo mis 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 entonces a ver pronuncio pronuncio el verbo en su forma base normal mis Extrañar, ¿no? Perder. Ahora agregó ese sonido al final. Mist. Mist. El, Mist. Siguiente, el siguiente ejemplo que ya está ahí es fix. 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 
Ahora agrego el t. perfect. Good, George. Fixed. 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 Muy importante, les decía la vez pasada, los sonidos finales en todas las palabras o verbos. En este caso, eh, por ejemplo, ¿cómo dices este verbo en su forma base? Work. Work. Mm, no escucho la K, no escucho la K allí. Work. Work. Excellent. Ahí, esa viene de acá de la garganta, la K. Work. Ahí estás, perfecto. Work. Ahora lo complejo. Work. 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 Se quiero que se fijen en eso. Eh, acá. Si yo digo worked, worked. Su pasa rápido. Worked, worked, worked. ¿Ok? Lo mismo va a ocurrir con watch. ¿Ok? Watch. 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 Y, y lo mismo va a pasar con wash. ¿Ok? Wash. Washed. Wash. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre watch y wash? So, tienes wash. Lavar y ver. Ajá, watch. No, el significado, claro, ¿no? Pero la pronunciación, hay diferencia entre la ch, 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 ch y la ch. Ajá, como que incluyera una D. Como que incluyera una D. No, 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 sin la D. Watch. No, eh, la... A la hora de pronunciarlo en el sonido, como que incluyera una D, el watch. No, el watch. no una D. A ver, bien en los salvadoreños, Jorge. ¿Cómo le hablas a la gente en El Salvador cuando no sabes el nombre? Vos. Al... Hey. Le decís. <risa> Ese sonido. <risa> Mi esposa se asomó para ver qué onda. <risa> Así. Ahora bien. ¿Cómo llamas a las gallinas para que se entren? Similar. Similar, pero no es igual. Le dices... O como callas a una persona, ¿no? Esos son los dos sonidos. Le dices... ¿No? Ahí. Entonces, esa es la diferencia en la pronunciación. Ahora, a esos dos sonidos le voy a agregar la ED como T. Bien, los listados de verbos que yo les envié el primer día, que nos conocimos... Incluyen en la parte superior de las columnas, perdón, en la parte derecha de los verbos regulares, está este símbolo. ¿Sí? Eso quiere decir, está tan fácil como entender este sonido. Ese T entre dos plecas simboliza el sonido T. Me voy a mover porque no, eso no, es, no es tema, pero es muy importante que como intermedio ya, ya manejen esto. ¿eh? Um, let me send this first. To your WhatsApp. There you go. Okay. So, segundo sonido, eh, continuando con los city endings, sería la ED como D. Este sonido que igual está en el listado de verbos que les envié. D. Aquí pasa lo opuesto. En los anteriores no había vibración en, la, en tu aparato, en la boca, en ninguna parte. Aquí sí es denotada la vibración. En la forma base de los verbos. ¿Ok? So, tendrías... Save. Y te invito a que lo hagas conmigo. Ponete en las manos si quieres. Save. Mantener el sonido final. Save. ¿Ok? Si sentís, esto va a pasar con todos los verbos regulares que terminen en VE. La E es muda. Entonces suena save. Agrego la D en este caso, no la E de... Porque terminen en no. Y digo saved. Saved. Lo mismo va a pasar con el verbo hog. Hog. Sorry. Hog. Mantener el sonido final del verbo en su forma base. Hog. Agrego la ed y ojo con esto. Se cumple siempre esa regla de que consonante, vocal, consonante. Duplico la consonante y agrego ed. Ahora diría Hugged. Hugged. Deme un segundo, voy a cerrar. Voy a cerrar la puerta. Sorry, está lloviendo.
Okay. Sorry, guys. So, saved, hugged. Also, let's see, play. Muchas vocales van acá en la segunda regla. Play. Digo, played, played, played. Okay. Y la sure. tercera regla. Hey, yep. Yeah. Eh, ¿Cómo pronuncia de los verbos que ha puesto ahí en play, work, say, fix, want, add? Add. add. Have. Muy bien. Have es un verbo irregular. Have. Had. Had. Ya hablado suena had. I had. I had a boyfriend. I had a girlfriend. I had a car. I had a job. I had a, I had a, I had a job. Cuando va con artículos siempre, acuérdense, se cumple ahí la regla de la D entre dos vocales y la T entre dos vocales. Had a, had a job. I had a job. Bueno, irregular. Vamos, esto solo aplica para verbos regulares, chicos. Y la última regla es que si ya por en su forma base el verbo termina con el con cualquiera de estos dos sonidos, el d o el a t, t ya cualquiera de estos dos sonidos, en ese caso, eh, lo voy a dejar así, en ese caso, yo voy a agregar la ed y va a sonar a id. Perdón, aquí es id. Id. ¿Ok? Hay una regla que pocos profesores conocen o, o, o explican, y se lo digo porque estoy haciendo un estudio sobre esto, estoy haciendo una, un programa de inglés, uh, y he estado estudiando muchos profesores en TikTok, más que todo, y en Instagram, y les veo exp explicar esto, pero sin mencionar algo. So, for example, por ejemplo, dicen added, added, y los americanos dicen added, Added. ¿Por qué pasa esto? Porque son dos consonantes. Es un verbo monosílabo de dos consonantes. Y lo mismo va a pasar con, um, bueno, acá, acted, acted. Entonces, added, added, acted, wanted, wanted, visited, visited. visit, visited. Entonces, ¿Qué estoy diciendo acá? El verbo en su forma base suena a al final. Y esa regla está acá. Ad. Este termina en sonido T. Act. Act. Want. Visit. Agrego la ED y suena a ID. Id. Ok. Eh, lo que no mencionan los profesores, lo que les estaba diciendo, es que, por ejemplo, wanted tiene dos sentidos. Wanted, I wanted to tell you. I wanted, right? I wanted to tell you. Suena difícil, ¿no? Es wanted to tell you. I wanted to tell you. Y la canción de Bon Jovi, wanted, dead or alive, dice la canción. Wanted, buscado. No solo significa querer. Bien, les dejo esto. Eh, espero enviarles un video que yo siempre utilizo eh, con este tema. Eh, pa, explicando todo en inglés y pues para que ustedes eh, lo tengan en la mano. So, let's move on. My God. I cannot hear myself because it's raining heavily. It's raining cats and dogs. Let's continue. So going back to your book. We talked about fanboys yesterday. Don't forget the structure, guys. That's the key for that topic. Now, yesterday, we also had a little conversation about uh, related to, to restaurants, right? So I'll make some questions to you. Okay, let's practice. Do you want to practice speaking? Because you need to speak. <laughs> okay. Yay. Okay, hold on. Um,
Where is it? There it is. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna try using the number. But you won't believe me if I don't write it. So anyways. Okay. I'm going to make you a question and hope you will give me the answer, okay? Jorge Alberto, what is four times four? Five, four, three. <laughs> Come on. What is four? Four is four, four. Repeat, please. What is four times four? Okay, that that's that that was too long. Okay, too long. Okay, uh, let me see, Freddy's. What is seven times four? Four, three, two. Freddy's, come on. 28. 28. 30? Come on, 28. Okay. Miguel Marroquín. What's, what's, hold on. What's the square? What is it? The square, the root square. I, I can't remember how to say that. The root square of nine. Root square of Okay, what's the root square of nine? I don't know. You Three. don't know? Yes, three. it's three. Come on, three times three, nine, right? Okay, so I'm going to start with Miguel Marroquín, and he's going to tell who's next, okay? First question for you. <laughs> Easy. What is the name of your favorite restaurant, Miguel Marroquín? All You Can Eat. All You Can Eat? Okay, but that's yeah. not a restaurant. Let me do something else as well. I need... A stopwatch. Teacher, he's writing. <laughs> it's heavy. It is heavy. Okay, guys. I'm going to give you one minute to answer your question, okay? So, again, Miguel Marroquín. What, what is the name of your favorite restaurant and why do you like it? You have one minute. Three, two, one, go, Miguel. Go. Okay. Uh huh. For me, my favorite restaurant is um, All You Can Eat. Uh, my, mm -hmm, yeah, I like pizza. Okay. You have a minute, 45 seconds. Keep going. You sure I don't hear you? have problem okay who wants to answer this question guys you're gonna have one minute to answer the question non-stop bien esta dinámica la ocupo muy seguido ante todo yeah. con las preguntas de, del libro eh lo voy a pasar al frente le voy a dar un minuto y tienen que hablar sin parar 
¿De qué me va a servir esto? Si usted un día va a una entrevista de trabajo y se lo digo como reclutador, que ya trabajé en dos call centers de reclutador, bueno, tres, este, a mí no me gusta sacarle a cucharadas las respuestas a los entrevistados. Usted tiene que hablar hasta que le digan, ok, that's it, thank you, good job. ¿Sí? Entonces, ánimo, ánimo. Who wants to give me the answer to this question? Ay. Me? Who's My me? favorite. Me, 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 me. Roxana, ok. Yes. One, two, yes. three. Action, Roxana. My favorite re restaurant is Pizza Hut. Because you can eat salads, pizzas, and... Las, lasañas. I don't know how to say that. Mm -hmm. Keep going. It's all. <laughs> no, you have 30 seconds. Si, si ven el stopwatch, ¿verdad? Si se ve el, el cronómetro, ¿ok? Yes, Come on, yes. Roxana. No hay que decir, invénteselo, hable de qué le gusta de la pizza. Come on. No. I, that's what I like. That they have um, many different uh, many different kinds of plate that you can eat, and you can join with your friends. Good job. Okay. Bien. Este es el reto, señores de intermedio, hablar sin parar. Okay. Una persona de intermedio tiene que decir un de 10 a 12 oraciones en un minuto. Perdón, en 30 segundos. De 10 a 12 oraciones en 30 segundos. Eso es intermedio básico, son 8 oraciones, 30 segundos. Perdón, intermedio era 45 segundos, 12 oraciones máximo. Y avanzado, pues hablar hasta por los codos por un minuto. ¿Ok? So, ánimo, ánimo. Ya les voy a decir esta noche, eh, si se portan bien, les voy a dar una clave para alcanzar esa meta. ¿Cómo se hace eso? Solo que me acuerde de Denise o alguien, no sé, Jorge, uh, que me digan, teacher, no se le olvide lo que nos prometió, ¿ok? Bien. So, you sure. say la lasaña, 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 lasaña. Lasaña. Ok. Instead of plates, you can say dishes. They have different kinds of dishes. You can try it. You can eat different kinds of dishes. Not just pizza. Not just pizza. Okay? Good. Thank you, Roxana. Who is next, Roxana? Okay, let me see. Jorge Ernesto. Good. Okay, Mr. Hernandez. Mm. Huh. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, thank you. That's right. Yes, no. What Honest. kind what kind of restaurants are there in your neighborhood? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, neighborhood. What kind of restaurants are there in your neighborhood? Okay. Ready? Three, two, one, action. Sure. In my neighborhood, uh, we have, huh? we have, um, fast food, um, uh, like, um, Pizza Hut, Burger King, Burger King. Um, Pollo Campero, China Walk. Um, there is, there are uh, some another kind of restaurant with uh, food to the car. How do you say comida la carta? Yeah, uh, la, it's gonna be. La Pampa, um, Los Cebollines. I prefer go to, to restaurant with food to the cart 
because uh, it's more romantic. <laughs> Good. Hey, that's a preposition. I mean, a, a comparative. It's more romantic. Good job. Okay. Hey, this is awesome, right? Jorge, mm, mm, these are called buffer words. Buffer words, muletillas in good Spanish, okay? Y esto ocurre cuando tu cerebro no tiene vocabulario que, que dar, o sea, se queda en blanco, right? Y es normal. Ahora, el peor buffer que puedes hacer es el silencio. Ojo con eso, eh. Uh, let me think. En lugar de hacer un buffer, lo que puedes hacer es disfrazarlo y decir, let me see uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, let me think. Okay. Another kind of restaurant. Uh, un, un área de oportunidad principal en, en uh, niveles intermedios y avanzados es esto. Another, other. Fácil, bichos. Fácil. Another, singular. Other, plural. Take notes. Another, singular. Other, plural. Okay? So, aquí se debería decir un plural. Other kinds of restaurants. Other kinds of restaurants. Okay? Good. Other kinds. Other people. Another person told me. Another student told me. Other, plural, another, singular. A la carte, eh, decía el primer día que hay francaiquismos en inglés, eh, perdón, en americano, no sé cómo llamarle esto. Um, en salvadoreño, en español, hay muchos americanismos, right? For example, how do you say cochera in English? Garage? Yeah. How do you say emparedado in English? Sandwich. Good. How do you say chorro in English? Burro. Huh? Huh? What? I don't know. Chorro. <laughs> <laughs> Start with an F. Burro. Burro? <laughs> no. Grifo. Gri grifo is... That's Spanish. I, yeah, because no it's chorro, right? It's grifo, right? Grifo. Uh -huh. yeah. Jet. What? J E T. J E T. Oh, J E T. You see? Eso es un chorro de aire. Oh. Okay. A jet. An air jet. An air jet. And yes, grifo is the right Spanish word. No se conocemos el español del todo. Aha, so grifo. How do you say grifo in English? You say faucet. Faucet. At least oh. that's what gringos use, okay? Y esto no es inglés. Esto es francés. Okay? So, franquismos. Oh, how do you say prometida in English? Fiancé. 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 Yes. That's right. And so on. So, Next, a la carte, I prefer go to restaurant with, what are we missing here? To go. Yes, I prefer to go to a restaurant with a la carte options, etc. Good job, Ernesto. So, that's the way you practice. This is the way you, you have to do it. Let's just do one more, okay? Just one more person. Jorge, if you can choose one of your classmates. My tocayo. Okay. George? Jorge Alberto. It was a good a good show.
Okay. George, ready? Do you like to watch TV shows about restaurants or food around the world? Sorry, Jorge, can you hear us? What, George? You. <laughs> No, no, ¿cuál es Jorge? Alberto. Yo, yo, Jorge, Jorge Alberto. Ok, dice. Do you like? Do you like to watch TV shows about restaurants? Because. Ready? Jorge, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, one, two, three, go. Mm -hmm. I like watch TV shows about restaurant because like dinner, like cook. Oh, um, different. Mm -hmm. For different combinations. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You still have 20 seconds. Hello? <laughs> okay. Good. Let's stay there. So I like, again, you need the preposition. Bien, eh, regla general, es decir, el primer día no puedo tener dos verbos en el mismo tiempo gramatical unidos. Entonces tengo que separar, ya sea con la preposición to o agregando el ing al siguiente verbo. I like watching TV shows about restaurants because... Aquí falta el sujeto. I like... Decía Q, faltaba la K acá, ¿verdad? I like, y de nuevo, to cook. I like to cook. Uh, and use, maybe, and use different combinations, or and make different combinations. So, we will continue with that practice every day. Every day, every day. I will stop and make a random question. Okay. So, let's continue. You need to write a 10 line review of your favorite restaurant in your group. Choose one restaurant. What services do they offer? Do they have takeout? Do they have delivery service? Or what? Can you order by phone? Can you pay with credit card or debit cards? Or do they only accept cash in that uh, restaurant? What characteristics make this restaurant good? Why do you like this restaurant? I mean, is it a good ambience? Okay. Now, use comparative adjectives and coordinating conjunctions. Try to do it. Try to do it, okay? And then you will share your review with the class. Got it? Questions? Mind this. Esto lo aprendí de Denzel Washington. No se dice ojo or I. <laughs> ok. Sino que se dice. Mind this. Give me just a minute. Ok. Mind this. Eso quiere decir ojo. It's a 10-line review. It's very short. Okay? A 10-line review. What is a review, teacher? Oh, just criticize your favorite restaurant. Compare it with a similar restaurant. I could compare uh, the Mantecino with, uh, let me see, Don Lee. Don Lee and the Mantecino. 
Don Li food is delicious. You know, it's very good as well, but it's more expensive. And the servings, listen, the servings are smaller. What is a serving? Como la porción. Perfect. You got it. That's it. The servings are smaller. And at Diamante Chino, they are bigger. They have better, bigger ser servings. And for me, one more thing that I can add is that uh, Diamante Chino, they don't use too much oil to cook the food. So it's low in grease. It's low in grease. I mean, it's not light food because still it's carbo carbohydrates. Yeah, it's carbohydrates. These are carbs, I'm sorry. These are carbs, a lot of carbs. Rice, spaghetti, you know, noodles. Uh, there, That's a lot of carbs, but still it's delicious and not too much oil. And the prices, yes. Diamante Chino is less expensive than um, Don Lee. So, you tell me, compare two restaurants. Got it? Got it. Got it, yes, teacher. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, let's go. Chicos, aceptemos la invitación y vámonos al grupo que nos tocó. Let's go. Aunque no puedan participar, únanse al grupo, porfa. Okay. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes. I can hear you, but I don't know if somebody is ready to to the activity. I'm ready. Okay, Freddy's is here. Brandon too. Luis Eduardo and Miguel. Do you have questions about your task? What are we doing? I understand that it's a comparative uh, hmm. with two restaurants, right? Exactly. Okay. It's a review. It's, a review. Do you remember Ratatouille? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you are, what was his name? Ego, right? 
Mm -hmm. Error. Uh -huh. Okay, so you are the critic. Evaluator so, critic. Yeah, you're evaluating your favorite restaurant. You can compare it with a similar restaurant, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. go ahead. Hello, hello, one, two, one, two. Hello, teacher. Are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me tonight? Are, are you doing something? Looking for a restaurant or what? We are, we are writing. Okay. And after that, we share. We will share. With all. We will share uh -huh. with others. With the others, okay. The others. Oh, I finished. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Come on, really? <laughs> Come on, guys. Have you chosen a restaurant? Yes. Okay. And you know what we're doing, right? You are Ego from Ratatouille right now. Don't forget to use comparatives and connectors. Okay. I'll be here if you need me. Okay, thanks. Roxanne, Ana, Ana Victoria. Oh, sorry, Ana Victoria. What is your favorite restaurant? Tell me. Hi. Sorry, I am working right now because uh, I have different activities. But um, my favorite restaurant is Dynasty. It's um, China food. Oh, okay, great. Uh, what service do you they offer? Excuse me. What service do do they offer? Uh, uh they offer um Chinese food, like um, 
Lomito with vegetables. Uh, white rice. Um, pork with vegetables. And chicken. Um, is in other dishes, I think. <laughs> yeah. And what characteristics make this restaurant good? Use comparative uh, adjectives. Um, the, this restaurant is a uh, big or bigger than other place or other restaurants of Chinese food is have um how do you say agradable ambiente agradable a nice ambience a nice environment uh -huh. it is just the restaurant has a nice ambient um is a good service um in the food is delicious um is for me is better is more better than the chi the china walk on on the other chinese food and the other restaurant of chinese food Great. What about you, Maritza? What's Yo ya tengo algo, no sé. Haría falta mi algo. I'm ready.
Tengo la teacher. Teacher, send the reading mm -hmm. uh, on reading in the class. Yes, you will read it on the uh, main room. On the main room. Okay. Who we'll starts? If you want, you can read your photograph, your review. Okay, empieza entonces. Okay. Okay. <sighs> okay. Uh, my favorite restaurant is Ikatu because it has a very varied menu and its restaurant have ample parking for me. Ikatu is better than La Pampa because it was varieties of coffee and its location in very good places. For example, uh, Balboa Park, uh, Planet de Renderos, and I prefer Ikato because it's a place where you can go to share a coffee with your family, with your friends, or a uh, what meaning. That's it. Okay. I am. Uh, my favorite restaurant is Simmer Down because the food is more expressive than the other. We can eat good food a uh, low cost however in a portal restaurant. They several similar food at a higher cost and your tension is no good. That's it. Maria Jose. Okay. My favorite restaurant is Charlie Boy. In Charlie Boy you can find a lot of different dishes that includes hamburgers and pizzas in a different kinds of preparations. Charlie Boy is more expensive than other restaurants like Wendy's or Burger King that prepare the same food. But in this case, Charlie Boy has more quality in their dishes. They have more specialities than the other restaurants. Additionally, the locations are better than Wendy's or Burger King. For example, I finished. Bye.
Hi, me too. I finished it. Okay. okay, good. Let's go back. You can say I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Or just say done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, let's go. Thirteen. Is that it? Oh, we're still missing people. Okay. Let's see who comes at last. Jorge Alberto, Maritza, and Nancy. Okay. I think we're gonna yeah, we're gonna start with group number two, three, number three, group number three. Alberto, Maritza, and Nancy. I'm still waiting for them. Three, two, one, and here they come. Okay, so we have Jorge Alberto, Maritza, and okay. Nancy. Okay, um, <laughs> I start. Okay, uh, hi guys. Um, my favorite restaurant is Beijing City, and this place is behind behind Metro Centro. And the food at this restaurant is better than other. Also, I prefer Beijing City because I like to eat lomito with vegetable, and also I like to eat one pound with sauce, sauce bread. <laughs> And by uh, I usually visit it. No, I usually visit this restaurant on weekends. And by the way, uh, I visited this place last week with my boyfriend. And <laughs> um, I recommend in this this restaurant because it is cheaper than other. Um. Como era. <laughs> en vez de just that, that's it. That's it. That's it. it. That's it. <laughs> Good job. That's it. Okay. It's cheaper than other. Okay. Sauce red. No, red sauce. En inglés, uh, todo lo que califica el nombre va antes del nombre en inglés. Es diferente al español, ¿no? Yo tengo un. Um, ¿Qué? ¿Cómo era? Yo tengo un carro rojo de 1978. Eh, sería, I have a 1978 red car. Ok, ok. <ríe> okay. Eso te puede ayudar para la traducción. Siempre que veas uh, un objeto descrito, identificas rápido cuál es el nombre, el noun, muy probablemente va a estar al final. Y entonces empiezas a leer al revés, ¿no? I have a, tengo un carro de 1900, toda la descripción antes. E igual, acuérdenme de enviarles un cuadro sobre eso. Hay reglas para poner los adjetivos, pero ah, ahí van a ver el cuadro. No se vayan a asustar, ¿eh? es muy largo, es demasiado largo como para memorizarlo. El punto es que no se te olvide eso, de poner los adjetivos antes del nombre. Good. Eh, it's cheaper. Me equivoqué ahí, ¿verdad? Ah, no, 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 está bien, ajá, no se duplica la P. Cheaper than others. It's cheaper than others. Es más barato que otros. Uh -huh. Okay. Pl Pluralize. Okay. Good job, Maritza. Who is next, Maritza? Okay. Uh, what about you, Miguel? I think Mike is having problems with the internet. Okay, entonces, uh, so, what about you, Brandon? Okay, uh, 
Hello, guys. Hello, teacher. Uh, my favorite my favorite restaurant is Ikat because it has a very varied menu and it's a restaurant have a ample parking for me. Ikatu is better than La Pampa because it has a variant of coffee and it's a location in very good places. For example, Balboa Park, the Plaza de Rendero, uh, etc. I prefer Ikatu because it's a place where you can go to share a coffee with your family and with your friends or a work meeting. Ikatu has a very good view. I recommend visit the restaurant. That's it. Okay. Um, good job, actually. Brandon, that was really good. Uh, they have a better va variety. They have a wider variety. Una variedad más extensa. Wide. Wide. Wider. Variety. 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 They have a wider variety. They have a wider variety. You know what? Hold on. I hate when I doubt about my powers. <laughs> Wait. Esto le va a pasar a ustedes también. Let's go to Juglish. Did you try Juglish, by the way? It's a nice website. Let's see. So I have variety. Let's see. U.S. accent. Others cannot work because for a variety of reasons. Yeah, illness. To tackle a broad variety of Broad variety. That's a good one, too. Broad. Wait, I'm learning. Variety. What did I type? Yeah, I did it right. Okay, variety. 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 Diseases that are working in a variety of different environments, uh, a variety of different ecosystems. Which create ecosystems and provide vital habitat for a huge variety of creatures. Also, in and then social media has a variety of other effects. It just makes everything that, that didn't more. sound. One more. Yeah, but I was just looking for the frozen variety. Couldn't. F I can hear that too. Variety, 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 variety. So they have a wider variety, a wider variety. That's a, per, a competitive, a wider variety. Good job. Okay, uh, I was about to, oh yes. There's a website where you can find synonyms. And I, I like this website, it's old school. This is old school website to look for synonyms. Okay, I just send it to your WhatsApp. What do you do? You just type the word from which you want synonyms. So if I type, um, if I type variety, variety, I will get synonyms like array, assortment, change, collection, diversity, mixture, range, and so on. Okay, good. So who was next? Um, Brandon, who's next? Let me see. Uh, maybe Nancy Saldana. Okay, Mr. Saldana, whenever you're ready. Uh, sí. Yes. Uh, well, my favorite restaurant is Wendy's um, because it has the freshest vegetables and it means it's juices, juices. Its burger have a lot of flavor. Um, the ice cream are very diverse in flavor. And the restaurant have a less, uh, 
left service and I usually go with my family or friends. That's it. Good job. Okay, let me see. Who is next? One more, Nancy, and that's it. Okay, este, Dennis. Okay, Dennis, Denny, Den Den Dennis? Oh, Denise. Denise, yeah, I'm Denise sorry. Here. Denise. <laughs> um, before we continue, the, Denise, what was the restaurant Nancy said is her favorite? It was Wendy. Wendy's, right. Okay, Wendy's. Yeah. Uh -huh. You're paying attention. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Denise. Uh, well, uh, my favorite restaurant is Papalandia, but there is not another restaurant to compare with. So I'm going to talk about Sushi Ito, which is my second favorite restaurant. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sushi Ito make delicious rolls, but they have another dishes like ramen, rice, wontons, and salads. The price is very good than other restaurants, and they have some promotions every day of the week. The service is really good and faster than other sushi restaurants like Sushi King, but if we talk about the flavor, Sushi King is better. I really like both restaurants, but Sushi Ito has a better location and prices. Excellent. Very good. That was awesome. I want to try Sushito now. I'm um, sorry. Yeah, Sushito. Hey, very good. Then other restaurants. Mm -hmm. Can you paraphrase that, Denise? Very good than other restaurants. Very good and faster than other restaurants. Oh, okay. But you were talking about the prices. Their prices are very good. Ah, yes. I. Oh. And they, you need the subject, and they are faster than other restaurants. Okay. Mm -hmm. If not, it sounds weird. Okay, good job. Thank you, guys. Okay, you're, thank you. You're awesome. You are really awesome. What is awesome? Do you know what is awesome? Asombroso. Asombroso. Good. Beautiful Spanish synonyms. Okay, <laughs> let's continue. So, what it was there? Okay, so we just did that. Tonight, let's continue talking about restaurants. But let's have a chip chat. What is a chip chat? Anybody, what is a chip chat? A chip chat? I don't know, teacher. What's a cheap, cheap chat? Hmm. Is uh... Alex? Eh, lo siento, es que tengo que apagar mi cámara para hablar. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, okay, bien. Eh, is that idiom? Hmm. And what's the meaning? Bueno, en español. No, 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 don't eh, use Spanish. Barato. No, 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 come on. Uh -huh. um, and that's not the Spanish. No tiene que ver con que eh, vocabulario, eh, vocabulario eh, con pocas palabras o algo así. When you can only say a few words, no. Okay. It's a small conversation. Small conversation. Ah. It's a synonym, you know, of small conversation. It's an idiom that means have a conversation, a small conversation, a short, short conversation. That's the word, short conversation. So what is your favorite stutter? What's your favorite stutter? Now, what's the point of these questions? In this case, I'm trying to find out what is your vocabulary, your restaurant vocabulary. Okay, so let's have a cheap chat. What is your favorite starter? Uh, 
Uh -huh. Stutter is like a entrada. Hey, good, <laughs> okay. beautiful Spanish. Yes. <laughs> now say it in English. Say it in English. It's like a dish when you begin um before to eat uh before eating uh huh before eating um the no. principal dish <laughs> no complication your life okay <laughs> don't get complicated is 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 the first food or soup that you eat before the main dish. The main dish, thank you. Right? Good. So what is your favorite starter, Maho? My favorite starter in are rollers. A rollers with jam or loroco. Oh <laughs> yeah, when you go work. eating when you go eating pizza or or, or Chinese China food. walk. Chinese food. Yes, China work. That's the entrance. Okay. Okay. That's the starter. Okay. It's very easy to get confused. You see the entrance, mm, the starter. <laughs> okay. Be careful. That happens all the time. Okay. What else? Someone else. What's your favorite starter? What starters do you know? What starters do you know? Nachos. Nachos. Okay, that's a starter. Good. What else? Nuggets. Nuggets. Where do they give you nuggets as a starter? Nuggets. Yes. Uh, where? Donde? Where? In La Pampa. La Pampa. At La Pampa? Really? Because yeah, no. I don't know. I, I've been to La Pampa a lot. And I always get uh, a salad or a soup for um, yes. a starter. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, uh, nuggets. Uh, I don't know, uh, champignons, mushrooms, Mush uh, and uh, empanadas argentinas. Really? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Interesting. Yes, okay. No. You know, I had a, I had a, a student once with this topic. He said, instead of mushrooms, he said, totes. <laughs> I was like, totes, totes. That that sounds to me like something, totes. You know who's tote? No? Brindis? No. <laughs> Toad, <laughs> I mean, Toad is the one from Mario Bros. <laughs> so, quack, quack, yes. quack. <laughs> come on, guys. Okay. So, yeah, mushrooms. Have you ever eaten Arang Arang All You Can Eat restaurant? Have you ever eaten at an All You Can Eat restaurant? What was the menu like? Did, have you ever tried Unam? No, Unam used to have, or no, Benihana, what is it? Oh, it was Unam. Oh, Unam. Unam, I can remember. They do have all you can eat for like, well, like five years ago, it was like $12 all you can eat at Unam. It was delicious. Dumplings, you know, uh, what, and so many, a lot of food. Come on, guys. Um, so I need someone to answer this question for me. Freddy's, have you ever eaten at an all-you-can-eat restaurant? All-you-can-eat. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Um, 
eat pizza and all you can eat papayons. Oh, papayons, all you can eat. How much is it at papayons? And lower this. No, no, no. How much? How much? And uh, no, 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 I don't remember. Repeat, I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't know, remember. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember. Do you remember uh, Moses' brother? ¿Cómo se llamaba el hermano de Moisés? Moses Aaron. Aaron. So Aaron no remember. Aaron no remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay, that's it. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't say that. I don't go. I don't tell, I don't write, okay? I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Don't forget this, it's a good pronunciation. I don't know. I don't know, okay, good, let's continue. So now we have a conversation about this topic. I'm gonna read the conversation for you so you can review it later on the video. Okay, oops, hold on. And choose mute. I'm sorry, where is it? Spotlight. Okay. And there's recording. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm just getting ready. Good. So let's continue. <clears throat> Zoom just made an update and I don't like it. I don't like this update. Save, oh my God, where is smart pen? Why is it a smart? Oh, okay, good. Sorry guys, I'm trying to find this thing where I can point, spotlight, I found it. Okay, so let's pay attention please and then you will repeat what I'm gonna do right now. <clears throat> How well are the new menu items doing? The main fish and chips courses are doing great. 99%, 99% of people like them, like them. Then the new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of our, our, our customers liked it, liked it, liked it. Let me check the online polls, polls for recent products, products. Yes, just, just, just like you said, Yes, just like you said, it seems the new nacho snacks, the new nacho snacks are doing great. 80% of customers like them. Probably we only have to revise, revise the lemon cakes since not many people reacted well, reacted well. One more time. How well are the new menu items doing? The main fish and chips courses are doing great. 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of our customers liked it. Let me check the online polls for recent products. Yes, just like you said. It seems the new nacho snacks are doing great. 80% of our customers like them. Probably we only have to revise the lemon cake since not many people reacted well. Okay, now your turn. Uh, I need the two volunteers. Aye. Aye, what? Me teacher. 
Wait, who said hi? I? Yo, hi. Ok, como todos tienen la cámara apagada, um, no logro identificar rápido quién habló. So, vamos a hacer algo. Alex. Say, Yo, no. mi Alex, mi Maritza, mi Denise. Ah, ok. Ok, one, two, okay. three. Mi o no. Mi Maritza. Ok, one, two, three, action. Oh. <laughs> Maritza. <laughs> Okay, okay, sorry. Please. <laughs> How well are the new menu items doing? The main fish and chips courses are doing great. 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35%. Of our customer like it. Let me check the only polls for recent products. Yes, just like you said, it seems the new nacho snack are doing great. 80% 80, 80 of customers liked them. Probably we only had to rise. The lemon cake says not many people retail well. Okay, good job. So repeat with me. You say items. 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 Doing. 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 Courses. 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 Be careful, remember, courses, mm, maldiciones, no, courses. 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 Not. 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 Repeat, cake line is not doing very well. Cake, cake line, line is, is not, not doing, doing very well. well. Good job. R. R. Um. Just like the R teacher? Yes, R. 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 Okay, repeat of our, our customers. Of our customers. It's similar uh, verb, our. verb to be R. Yeah, but shorter, okay. but shorter. Pero más corto, but shorter. Okay, okay. R. Our customers uh, liked it. R. Okay. Uh, the online, remember yesterday? Let me check the online polls. Repeat, let me check the online polls. Let, let me check, me, the, let me check the online polls. 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 Pools. 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 You swim in a pool. Pool, <laughs> you swim in a pool, right? So polls. 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 Very good. Polls. S uh, final sounds, Maritza. Mm -hmm. Snacks. 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 Maritza. Snacks. Ahora bien, vamos a corregir eso. Repeat. S S snacks. S snacks. Mm -mm -mm -mm. S it's snack. Mm -mm -mm. Ay, <ríe> es que creo snack. que está, está haciendo que el aire entre cuando lo dice. No, no, no esto hacia afuera, es hacia afuera. Ajá, lo que pasa ajá. es que estás acostumbrado a decir snack. Are you from, sí. ha, are you from San Miguel? No. <ríe> no. Ok, estás acostumbrado a decir la E antes de la S, es lo normal, ¿no? Entonces, sí. so, lo querés corregir rápido, agarra mucho aire y soltarlo todo en solo entre los sí. dientes. Snack. Snack. You got it. <risa> ¿Sí? no, es muy importante porque hay demasiadas palabras que son así. Student, stop, stay, so stare, snack. stairs, snack. ¿Ok? Snack. S -s 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 there you go Snack. okay uh, Snack. Revise. revise 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 things scenes ah scenes 
reacted, since. reacted, reacted, reacted. Remember. We just talked about idiom is right, reacted. Okay, reacted. guys. So this is your next task right now. Your task. What is a task? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Tarea. Okay. Excellent. Beautiful Spanish. Your duty. Duty. Homework. Homework? No. It's the same meaning. Be careful. It's the same meaning, but no. In this case, your task at your job, you have a lot of tasks, a lot of duties, a lot of duties. Some uh, British British say duties, 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 duty, duties, duties. No, duties, duties. You have a lot of duties, okay? And so right now, your duty, your task is to read as many times as possible. Lo voy a decir en español porque es la segunda vez que hacemos esto y la vez pasada no te que siguen con esto. Aprovechen el tiempo al máximo. No más llegues a tu salón. Si ya llegó alguien, empezadas. Okay, I'm Nancy. How well are you? How well are the new menu items doing? Y esperas a alguien que te conteste quien sea. No digan, ok, primero voy a ser yo Nancy y luego tú Jennifer. Después fulana va a ser Nancy y la otra Jennifer. Man, de repente se fueron los 10 minutos. So like, what? Got it? Yeah. Ya no nos regaño, hombre. No, no es regaño. It's just corrections, ok? I'm just correcting your path, okay? Let's take advantage of the time. One, two, three. Do the exercise again. Let's go. Repeat, 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 repeat. Oh my God, La Pampa. Come on, Raquel, Ana Victoria, Eduardo, Miguel, let's join, please, to your classrooms. Let me check the online polls for recent products. Yes, just like you said, it seems the new Nacho snacks are doing great. 80% of customers like them. Probably we only have to revise the lemon cakes since not many people reacted well. Okay. New. Repeat. Okay. How well are the new minion items doing? Items. Rachel, do you read? Anna? Okay. Um, the second. Jennifer. Yes. Yes. Uh, the main fish and chips course are doing great. great. 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line is not dying, doing very well. Only 35% uh, of our customer like, like it. Let me check the only polls for recent products. Yes, just like you said. It's them, the new nacho snack are doing great. 80 80 percent of cost of cost of customers like them. 
probably we only have to revise the lemon case since not many people react though react well react well I'm going to start again uh, how well are you react how well did react Excuse me. Go. <laughs> <laughs> How well are the new menu? I Only 35% of our customers like it. Let me check the online polls for recent products. Yes, you just like you say you said it seems the new nacho snacks are doing great 80 percent of customers like them probably we only have to revise the lemon cakes since not many people reacted well and we'll finish Yay! That's it? Keep going. We're missing two minutes. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Again. Okay. Okay. Maria or Oscar. Okay. Okay. How well are the new menu items going? The main fish and chips course are doing great. 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake is la cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of our customers like it. Let me check the online polls for recent products. Yes, just like you say. It seems the new nacho snacks are doing great. 80% of customers like them. Probably we only have to revise to revise uh, the lemon cakes since not many people react well. Okay. I I been how well are the new is, sorry, okay. I have a question. Yes. Is revise, right? Perfect. Revise. Revise. How well are the new menu items doing? The main Men thing. menu, menu. Menu. How well are the new menu menu items doing? The main fish and ships curse are doing great. Ninety nine percent of people like them. Then the new le le lemon 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 cake line is not going doing very well. Only thirty five percent of customers like the, like it. Let me check the only online polls, teacher's polls, polls, Paul, polls, mm -hmm. polls, polls for recent products. Yes. Okay, let's wait for the others. Oh my god, 24 20 seconds. Give me just a minute.
Okay. I think we're back. Oh no. There we go. So let's continue. Porque no doy feedback de lo que acabamos de leer porque quedó grabado en YouTube. Acuérdense de revisar el video mañana o cuando tengan tiempo para mejorar su pronunciación. Ese es el propósito de que asome la cara fea a la cámara. Yes, the minute. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. So now let's look at the graphic and end the conversation. Okay. <clears throat> let's talk about percentages. Percentages. Tages, tages. Percentages. Percentages. Next to the products, compare your answers with a partner. So what about the new lemon? Lemon cake line. I'm sitting here in the boarding room. All right? I wonder what, I wonder how. Right? 39%. Lemon tree. <laughs> lemon tree, thank you. So let's see the new lemon cake line. 39%. Okay. What about the new nacho snacks? Oh, nacho snacks. 80%. 80 per, per, per cent. 80%. 80%. Good job. What about fish and chips main course? 99%. 99 Good job, 99%. Don't forget percent, not percent. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Percent, percentage. Which of the three products has the highest percentage of acceptance? Which Fish one? Fish and chips. Uh-huh. Oscar? Uh -huh. Oh, no, I have. Yeah, it's gonna go. It was fish and chips. Fish and chips, what? Yes. That's the one that has the highest percentage of acceptance. I don't know Hi. why. Do you do you like fish with chips? When you go eating fish, do you like fish with chips? Only no. fish. No. Just the fish, right? Just the fish. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that, that's a lot better. Okay. We're going to leave this for tomorrow. Please don't miss your classes. That's very important. I send you... Hey, lo voy a decir, no se pierdan las clases. Acuérdense que se tienen que conectar de las 8 a las 10, niños. Yes, who said teacher? It's complicated. Uh, I have complicated. I have two questions. Complicated. Alex, yes. Uh, hi, her. What is? What is the meaning? What is the meaning of? Hi, her. Oh, higher, highest. Higher, higher and highest. Okay, we we higher. started we started higher, high. Okay. Adjetivo. Uh, in yes on. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, yes, yes. now we have the comparative is high yes, yes. er higher. Okay, oh, yeah. highest. Yeah. Okay. Superlative. superlative is the, superlative. sorry, the highest. Where, where, what am I doing? Hold on. Uh, highest. Highest. Y, uh, let me see really quick. I think we're going to study that. Vamos a estudiar superlativos. Yo no me equivoco mañana. Let me see. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. 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 Procedures. Huh. Adverbs and transition expressions, creating an effective training manual, staff meeting will be better. Okay. Superlatives, session number 17. Wow. Tomorrow, how to use might and could. Pensé que habían visto modales, pero según veo, 
muchos modales están en este manual. Ok. Don't miss tomorrow's class, please. Tonight I'm staying with Ana Victoria. Que la encanto. Ok. Thank you. Just for 10 minutes. ¿Alguna otra pregunta, duda, inquietud? Otro regaño para que no se les olvide mañana de 8 a 10. Yo sé que es complicado, yo sé que es difícil. Los adultos nos complicamos la vida porque queremos. Es muy difícil. Vivimos atados a un trabajo. No me crean a mí, escuchen a Alberto Cortés o a Facundo Cabral. Igual, ¿no? Estás atado a un trabajo y pues ojalá que Dios te regale aprender inglés, salir de, de esa zona de confort. ¿Saben qué? Se han portado tan bien y me llegó que estuvieran todos acá, así de que, de hecho, sí, solo un alumno faltó. Se han ganado un premio, señores. ¿Qué les dije que les iba a enviar? Bueno, dos cosas. Vamos a hablar de la zona de confort. Cuando tengan un minuto, vean este video que les voy a enviar. Y les voy a enviar algo llamado The Jam Technique. Just a minute. ¿Ok? Voy a hacer eso primero. Ya se los envío en lo que estoy con Ana. Um, revisen, comprendan el video. Es una técnica que les va a ayudar muchísimo. Sorry. Es una técnica que les va a ayudar muchísimo a poder desarrollar eh, su vocabulario. Ver en qué área están teniendo problemas de vocabulario. Qué palabras les faltan. Eh, yo les recomiendo volverse locos y hablarse a sí mismos. Si les han dicho que es locura, no es locura. Es muy importante estar hablando constantemente a uno mismo. Eh, y esto era lo que yo hacía cuando estaba de reclutador. Les decía, what do you do every day? Testeaba los grammar tenses primero. Eso se hacía antes, ahora ya no. Ahora se hace una conversación normal. Y mientras que el estudiante o el aplicante, perdón, del trabajo me estaba diciendo, I wake up every morning, I then go to work. Uh, in order to do that, I take the bus. And cuando los miraba muy confiados en su zona, decía, OK, how do you cook scrambled eggs? How do you cook scrambled eggs? Se quedaba, ¿eh? ¿Ah? Mm, decía yo de reclutador, he hecho leña, honestamente. How do you cook scrambled eggs? Scrambled eggs? ¿Alguien? What's scrambled eggs? Scrambled. Yeah, it's not fried eggs. eggs. In a bowl. Huevos <laughs> revueltos. <laughs> Ay, María José, los hace bien fancy. Primero los revuelve y después los echa a la sartén. <laughs> no, ok. Scrambled. You scramble later. Los mezclas luego, no sé. Ok. So, eso se llaman uh, brain teasers. Ok, eso es lo de la jam technique, pero me interesa más incluso que vean el segundo video que les voy a enviar, ok. Um, cuando tengan tiempo, si quieren Teacher. verlo en la noche, para que se queden pensando en eso. So I'm staying with Ana. Yes, last question, go ahead. Teacher, eh, pregunta cómo se llama la plataforma donde usted escucha pequeñas eh, como oraciones en donde va la palabra que uno... Que, que uno quiere escuchar. La palabra como, que como, quieres como escuchar. Lo, la pronuncia. Ajá. Juglish. Ahí ah, se, se, los envíe, se los envié en ah, okay. el WhatsApp at the beginning. Oh my God. I don't see it. Ya te le voy a dar reply. Ahí está ya la ya de hecho. There you go, Alex. Okay, guys. Nice ah, having you. Ah, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll see you tomorrow. Let's do the attendance really quick. Alex Enoch Ramirez Salazar. <clears throat> Present. <laughs> Raquel Campos Ayala. Present. Thank you. Ana Victoria Galán Cantón. Present. Thank you. Brandon Alexis Velázquez Ayala. Present. Denise Alejandra Zúñiga Aldana. Thank you, Denise. Good night. Freddy Ricardo Landa Verde. I'm here, teacher. Good night. Good night. Jorge Alberto Laínez Díaz. Present at the teacher. Thank you. Jorge Ernesto Hernández Durán. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luis Eduardo Reyes. Present. Thank you. María José Escobar Portillo. Present. 
¿Eh? Maritza Selina Aguilar Ramos. Present and good night. Good night. Miguel Santos Marroquín Maravilla. Mike was here. There he is. Me, Miguel tiene problemas con su internet. Morelia Giselle Perdomo Pineda. Present yep. and good night. Good, good night. <laughs> Nancy Carolina Saldaña Membreño. Present teacher and Thank good you, night. Nancy. Good night. Oscar Eduardo Meléndez Martínez. Present. Thank you. Roberto Ernesto Colindres Morales. Wasn't here today. Roxana Geraldina Wendika Ortiz. Present and good, and good night. Good night, Roxana. Ok, so me quedo con Ana. Good night, guys. Espero verlos mañana a la misma hora. Good night. Good night. Good night, that's me. Good night, good night, good night. Ana, hello. Hello, teacher. Ana, just one more thing, girl. Give your luck back to me, and I will set you free. Go with him. Ok, so, eh, supongo que no le sirve la cámara. ¿Cómo no? Pero es que estoy, bueno, no estoy en mi casa, estoy, eh, bueno, en el trabajo, en el trabajo de campo. Se ve como que si fuera de día. No, pero es de noche, entonces es un poco incómodo porque estamos más personas acá. Y no, no se preocupe, no se preocupe, mire, eh, esta es nuestra primera sesión juntos, entonces, eh, yo suelo hacer tres preguntas, si no ha visto ninguno de los videos anteriores, al final con la sesión, lo primero que hago con el primer grupo, es como uh -huh. tratar de ayudarles en el sentido, bueno, usando esas tres preguntas. La primera pregunta es, ¿cuál ha sido su experiencia con el inglés hasta ahora, sin mencionar nombres de academias? Simplemente, ¿cuál ha sido su experiencia? ¿Ha venido con años en el colegio? ¿Le ha costado? Dentro de esa experiencia de intentar aprender inglés, ¿Cuál ha sido eh, su principal área de oportunidad a este punto? O sea, ya tendría que haberlo identificado, ¿no? Me cuesta hablar, escribirlo, o sea, la gramática, me cuesta entenderlo, um, no sé, cualquier cosa que le cueste. Vamos a ver qué es. Y la tercera pregunta, ¿y ¿qué está haciendo, aparte de estas dos horas de clase que recibe, está haciendo algo más para aprender inglés? Tres preguntas. Vaya, con la primera pregunta, eh, la verdad que hasta ahora que comencé con lo de este, Insafora es que estoy estudiando en el, realmente en, el, en la escuela y la universidad fue bien, bien básico. Eh. Solo hice creo que como dos o tres módulos, pero en el 2005. Uh -huh. Eso fue la última vez que estudié antes de comenzar en Insafora. Uh -huh. Eh, de ahí, bueno, me cuesta hablarlo. Creo que lo entiendo más o menos, o lo más básico lo entiendo. Y leerlo, no se me hace tan complicado. Algunas cosas la, las comprendo. ¿Y cuál fue la otra pregunta, perdón? O sea, entonces, ¿cuál es la, la parte que más le cuesta? ¿Hablarlo? ¿Hablarlo? Sí. Está lo, a lo salvadoreño. Yo lo entiendo, lo leo, lo escribo. Es que hablar lo que me cuesta, fíjese. Así se ve. Falta de práctica. Sí. Ajá. Y la última pregunta. ¿Qué estoy haciendo yo, Ana? Aparte de recibir dos horas de clase, ¿qué hago para intentar mejorar? Ahora, bueno, empecé a ver unos de esos videos cortos en Facebook que dan varias, este... Eh, palabras que uno debería saber, cosas básicas, pero lo comencé hace un par de días y no lo he podido continuar. El problema es que tengo unas, como unas semanas como más complicadas de trabajo, o sea, yo estoy como en consultorías, uh -huh. 
Y hay días, que, bueno, por ejemplo, esta semana tengo tres días en campo, estoy en la Unión, regreso el viernes en la noche a San Salvador. Pausa. ¿Cómo hace para llegar a la unión? Manejando. ¿Usted maneja? Ok. ¿Y qué hace mientras maneja? Bueno, a veces escucho música para eh, durar las cuatro horas de A manejando. veces. Yo creo que es normal, es como, como inercia ya poner la radio. Escucha el buki. Ajá. Ya no. Ya no, ok. Antes sí. Algodón, yo se no. logra. <ríe> Pinche no. más. A veces algunos de música. Um, esta pop. página, esta Ajá. página que le acabo de enviar, ¿cómo aparece en WhatsApp usted en el grupo? Ay, no sé, debería de aparecer. Ay, no y... sé, ay, no Solo sé. con B, creo. Solo con, ah, sí, la V, eh, 9970. Sí. Ok. Ahí. Uh -huh. ¿Qué es eso? Lo que le acabo de ver es un index, un... Uh -huh. Ay, señor, un índice. Los diferentes colorcitos, en números romanos, creo, eh, son audios. Audios que tienen, bueno, esto es un subíndice. Perdón, este es el índice principal y luego puedes seleccionar la, el número uno en los números romanos y le van a aparecer en el número uno, por ejemplo, 22 subíndices, 22 subtemas, perdón. No discrimine, puede elegir entre el uno y el otro y luego elegir entre el uno y el otro. Sí. Sin discriminar. Día uno. Bueno, hay que imprimir esto, escribirlo en un cuadro. Yo les recomiendo que lo escriba a mano. Yo, ajá, sí, yo tomo nota porque es una manera también para asegurar un poco más que se me queden las cosas. Uh -huh. Ahora, mientras que usted va manejando, no va a ir leyendo eso, lo va a ir escuchando y repitiendo, <risa> escuchando y repitiendo. Lamentablemente no le puedo dar un ejemplo acá, pero el punto es ese. Llevar eso en el celular, conéctelo con el auxiliar o con el Bluetooth a su carro, y va escuchando y repitiendo, escuchando y repitiendo. Su cerebro tiene una gran capacidad de aprendizaje. El yo? problema es que nosotros... Hola. Ana. Hola, hola. <ríe> ok. Hola. Hola, hola. Ana, ¿me escucha? Creo que se le cayó el video. Hola. Hoy oh, sí. Hola, se desconectó. <ríe> sí, pero ya estamos de vuelta. Ajá. Bueno. Okay. Ajá, ya, ya lo vi ahorita. Ya lo vi, sí, vi los índices. Aquí el índice. Como usted va manejando, uh -huh. solo escuche un audio por semana. Cuando tenga okay. tiempo, agarre lo que ha escrito, o sea, el trans, la transcripción uh -huh. o la impresión de esa conversación que es entre dos personas. Día uno, con la boca cerrada. Día dos, con la boca cerrada. Solo leo con la vista, con uh -huh. la redundancia. Me siento raro cuando digo eso, pero bueno. Leer nada más con la boca cerrada. ¿Qué va a hacer esto? Que su cerebro diga, ah, bueno, esa palabra que está ahí. Entonces me está diciendo, le va a decir el cerebro, que esa palabra que está ahí ya no se lee como play. Se lee como play. Ah, día 1 y día 2 el cerebro se adapta a una nueva pronunciación día 3 empiezo a articular despacio día 4 igual el día 5 ya intento agarrar la velocidad y la entonación y esto es lo perfecto de estos audios que son conversaciones, no son canciones bueno, una vez usted agarra confianza el día 6 o 7 y dice, hoy oh, sí, ya me lo aprendí empieza a grabarse ocupe el teléfono para algo útil y empieza a grabarse y se escucha usted misma Ay, qué chivo me suena la voz ajá, ajá. ya suena bien vamos a ver y le da play a las dos cosas al mismo tiempo uno, dos, tres, ¡puc! agarra su cuaderno y uy, dije play no puede ser ey, qué chivo dije eso muy bien ya subrayó todos los horas de oportunidad repite, revisa Agarró confianza, se graba y vuelve a hacerlo. Play las dos cosas. ¡pum! 
me salió perfecto de premio un cupcake de chocolate no sé cualquier cosa importante la gratificación instantánea entonces ánimo esto le puede servir de mucho en su uh -huh. diario esto le va a ayudar a la pronunciación ojo que en ningún momento dije traduzca ok uh -huh. eso es lo último uh -huh. lo último que va a ser cuando ya se lo haya aprendido ahora de premio lo voy a traducir ok uh -huh. Identifique tiempos gramaticales, nuevas palabras en la conversación. ¿Ok? Sí, ok. Chao. I'll see you tomorrow. No, no tengo una consulta. La tarea. Please. Ajá. Ay, es que la estaba haciendo, pero. ¿Cuál aquí, de todas? La 1.1, o sea, Ajá. la de esta semana, pero dice: en hmm. the instructions, instructions, complete the following sentence using the correct use of comparative adjectives use the adjectives in brackets pero no sé si quieres solo el adjetivo porque le pongo solo el adjetivo ya comparativo pero me da error pongo la oración completa incluyendo con punto y me sigue dando error entonces no sé hace poco reinicié la computadora y me estoy metiendo otra vez a la página y esto Ajá. se tarda. En la primera entiendo que debería ser así. Se ah, quiere? si quiere puede compartir. My house is bigger ah. than yours. Y ya probó quitando el punto. Sí, he probado <risa> las opciones. No he terminado de escribir, pero por ejemplo, vaya, ahí tiene el... Then vale, voy a quitar el punto. Voy a probar solo esa. Uh -huh. No, sale mala también. ¿Sale mala? Ok. Sí. Mm -hmm. My house is bigger than yours. Y si solo pone bigger, sigue dando el mismo error. Solo bigger, ajá, quitando Perdón. toda la oración. Bigger than, solo bigger than. A ver, a ver. A ver. Ah, Ahí sí, está. sí, eso le sugiere. Solo quiere el espacio. ¿Y qué sería? Mm. This red flower is more beautiful. More beautiful than... Hasta los espacios que dejo pueden afectar en la respuesta, dependiendo de quién haya hecho esto. Vamos a ver. Enviar. Sí, aquí no quiere. La segunda no me la deja. Solo eh, borremos. No, no, no. Solo. No, tiene que dejar el more. Solo que el espacio que había antes. Ajá. Then, no. Ahí estaría. Eh, bueno, no, hay, no, ¿No hay espacios? No, ya lo revisé. No tiene. More beautiful than. Ah, agreguémosle el espacio luego de eso. ¿A dónde? ¿Al final o al ah, Ahí lo tiene todavía. Aborrémoslo. Y ahí. ahora. Ajá. What? Ah, ya, ya logré entrar. Okay. No. Trató. Ya le digo, ahorita. A ser porque es complicado a veces esas cosas que tienen tiempo. Mm, mire, honestamente, eh, las respuestas que han colocado en cada opción um, son muy cerradas. Mm -hmm. Sí, la respuesta es more beautiful. Ah, hay que quitar el den. Ok, sí, hay que quitar el den. Sí, mm -hmm. lo ve. Ah, o sea, arriba me pide el den y abajo no, y debería de ser uh -huh. todo lo que haga falta en la oración sí, lo mismo ocurre con la 3 lo mismo ocurre yeah. uh -huh. en la 4 ¿no? en la 4 sí hay que agregar el den uh -huh. y en la 5 igual, hay que agregar el den ok, sí, las otras ya las había empezado ya las avanzó, ah sí, sí uh -huh. todas están bien, que fácil Ese era el detalle Okay. Okay. Una última pregunta más. Dígame, dígame. ¿Me podría recomendar? Um, uh -huh. um, no sé. Eh, quiero que mi hija comience a estudiar inglés para que no le cueste como a mí. Y no trabaja. Esta, esta chiquita. ¿Quién? Ay, de <ríe> mi, mi hija tiene siete años. Acaba Se lo voy a enviar por WhatsApp porque no puedo mencionar nombres de marcas. En, ah, ok. En, acá. Ajá. Sí, pero... Ajá, algún lugar que me pueda sugerir para que ella pueda. En San Salvador. 
Eh, sí, bueno, nosotros vivimos en Lourdes, aunque ella estudia. Ah, sí, en Ahí Lourdes es el también Salvador. hay. También hay Ok. en Lourdes. Vale, porfa, eh, se Ok. lo voy a agradecer. No problem. Good night, Ana. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. You're welcome.